Amen. How many sense God in this place today? Hallelujah. I believe that we have stepped over into what we have been believing God for, praying for. Uh, today is going to be a little different. Um, you know, what we want is the Holy Spirit to orchestrate our services. And um, Friday night at um, our Elijah conference, of course, we had Brother John Kilpatrick, who God used to flow through with the Brownsville revival. And it was an amazing season, not only in our nation, but in the earth. Uh, I think they said somewhere around five million people came through the doors and the extraordinary things that God did. But whenever God does something else, he generally will build on what he's already done. It's not exactly the same, but um, the Spirit of God settled down in that room that night, and it's, I'm not sure I've ever experienced anything quite like what we experienced that evening. And uh, I think it surprised him. I could tell in the, in the middle of it, all of a sudden, uh, he realized that, that he had tapped into what had used to go on in Brownsville. And there was such a, um, a sovereignty of the Lord. And all over the building, people are being slain in the spirit. And um, uh, I, I could not help but weep. Just, I mean, deep, deep. And, um, and I, I, it was coming from way down here. And, and I began to realize we were birthing something. And about that time, he came by and he just grabbed me and wrapped his arms around me. And uh, I remember I just, I just had my head down weeping. And he said, Brother Kent, he said, you're getting ready to experience in your church what we experienced at Brownsville. And he said, you're going to have to, you're going to have to learn how to navigate the glory that's coming in your building. And for some time I've been trying to figure out, God, how do we go to the next level? And it's not just about filling up the seats, but how do we fill a building with hungry people to where Nothing else matters, but you just, you're coming in because of the glory of God. And, and so I, I want to warn you, I don't know if it's going to happen in the next few weeks. I know that it, the depositor's already in us. I don't know if God's going to wait till, you know, it's very possible sometime in October we could at least be in part of our building enough to have service. Uh, we're believing New Year's Eve uh, if God continues to provide the finances and as he's already done so many times But I can promise you that you better get ready Because we are getting ready to experience a deluge of people from around the world yeah. Hallelujah and the supernatural and the miraculous is going to begin to become, I hate to use the word common, but it's going to be an every service occurrence because of the manifested glory of God that's in the place. And um, I, I think what God's been doing is trying to get us out of the way so the Spirit of God can flow through us, the Holy Ghost can flow through us, that we're just that channel that the Spirit of God can flow through. And um, the Spirit of the Lord is, is in this house today. 
Hallelujah. And, and God is going to do some amazing things uh, in this sanctuary. Uh, I just want you to slip your hands up, and I just want you to begin to yield to the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Where's your son? Amen. Uh, I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. Just come over here. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now, Holy Spirit. spoken prophetically over this boy and he would be used mightily in the kingdom but this this spirit that has come against him even in the womb God just to stop him from learning and different things you foul demon I cast you out in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. And I loose the glory of God. Sunday. The Holy Spirit, the fire of God, the fire of God, the fire of God now begin to bring back the complete, not just normalcy, but excellence. Excellence. So by faith today, I declare that the word of the Lord that has been spoken over you by many is fulfilled in the power of the Lord and, and God that he, his ability, hallelujah, to assimilate and to articulate and to learn. And oh God, that, that everything that the enemy came against him to stop him from doing today, I release it. Hiya, Bobo bo, Sunday, not next week, but right now in the name of Jesus. I loose the supernatural by the power of the Lord in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise God. Dan and Vicky, Maya Bobo Ko Sunday, Maya Baba Sunday. Get ready. God says, I'm getting ready to uncomplicate your life. Sunday. I have already shown you the muscle of my arm that I have answered prayers that you wondered, God, would they ever come to pass? Would it happen? And did I not do it? But know this, I am not going to allow you to sit on the shelf, but there is a divine encounter. The hunger, hallelujah, the wisdom that is upon you is going to be essential to establishing the glory of the kingdom of the Lord. And you wonder, God, do, do we fit in? Or are we just on the fringes? Not so, says the Lord. But this day, even that which has been in thee from young people, I accelerated. Hallelujah. I'm invading your lives. Get ready for the divine encounter of the Spirit of the Lord. The hand of God is upon thee. And you wonder, Lord, what is my purpose? What is my calling? I'm blessed. But, Lord, we just go in circle by not no more. Oh, the Spirit of the Lord is upon thee, saith God, and this day I anoint thee, hallelujah, to walk in the fullness of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The, the lady that, I don't remember your name, but you, your eyes are messed up. What was, she, what was she born without? I didn't have optic nerves. No optic nerves. Can you see? I can see a little out of, I, can, I have 2,400 out of this eye. The doctor said I would never be able to. But God, my grandmother would pray for me when I was a baby. And he's gotten it up to this point. But I, I've been praying since I was a teenager. And God promised me he would complete it. All right. So I'm still believing that it's going to happen. Yeah. All right. How many believe that God's going to do a miracle right now? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Lord, as you spit in the dirt and rubbed it on the eyes, 
of that blind man and you recreated or you created that which she had, he had not been born with. So now in the name of the Lord, by the word of God and the fire of God that's in my spirit, I declare that your optic nerves are healed in Jesus' name. Sunday, hallelujah, not tomorrow, not tonight, but when I take my hand off, Lord, we are believing, hallelujah, that, Lord, there is 2020 vision in the name of Jesus. So, you spirit of blindness, I curse you in the name of the Lord and in the name of Jesus. From this moment on, we declare that there is vision in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, God. Now, I thank you for the glory. God, I thank you for the glory, the glory, the glory of God, the glory of God. Uh, Lord, that you are now beginning to create, Lord, that there are things beginning to come to pass in Jesus' name by the power of the Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. You came for healing? Who came for healing that has? Right there. Do you mind me sharing with... The doctors are telling you that you're going to be a paraplegic. Is that right? Quadriplegic. In how much time? July 1st. They're saying that I think it's the fluid in your brain or something. Spinal cord doesn't. Amen. Can you stand out here? Hallelujah. First of all, we declare that diagnosis, not against the doctors, but we declare it's a lie. Hallelujah. What's your name? Crystal. Praise God. Well, when Jesus got beat 39 times, he did it for this moment. You got babies, you got children, four, and your husband. All right. Now, according to the word of the Lord, they shall lay hands on the sick and pray the prayer of faith. Yes, yes. And I decree when I put my hands on you that those vertebrae are going to take the pressure off of that column and that you will never be a quadriplegic. Hallelujah. You will never be in a wheelchair. But in this God portal today, hallelujah, in this God portal today, we are decreeing, hallelujah, that you are healed and not a cripple. That you will hold your babies. I'm prophesying over you, hallelujah, that you will hold your children. Now when I put my hands on you, the fire of God's going to go through your spinal cord and through your vertebrae. And I decree you're going to walk out of this building healed in the name of Jesus. Devil, you're a liar. I command every spirit of unbelief. You will not put root in this building, but all right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, Lord, I loose the word of the Lord uh, that you have spoken through your servant, God, that in her neck, uh, that, Lord, uh, everything that needs to be put back in order, uh, God, the alignment, hallelujah, that, Lord, from this moment on, uh, God, that there is healed, healed, uh, not gradual healing, uh, but healed right now in Jesus' name, uh, that, oh, God, God, now, Lord, we praise you. God, we praise you. Hallelujah. That, Lord, she is healed. That a year from now, she will not be in a wheelchair. Six months from now, she will not be in a wheelchair. But she's going to come back, Lord, to this place and declare, look what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. 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 We loose the fire of God in this building. Jimmy Yuri, Jimmy, come here. Jimmy, 
Jimmy, come here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord told me just to put my hands on you. Sunday. Listen, there is a spirit of God in you, but the Lord says that demons have surrounded you and tried to steal your calling, your gift, your anointing. There has been a demonic destruction that's come against you, and you said, God, I don't have the strength. Is this the way it is? But when I pray for you today, I lose the fire of God. And the Lord says, you came in this building one way, but you're going to go out of this building another way. I see you standing and preaching the word of the Lord under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Now the fire of the Lord, hallelujah, out of your belly I begin to loose. Oh, that there is an encounter. There's an encounter. Let go, said God. I'm going to send you to areas and I'm going to use you as an arrow and you're going to invade the strongholds of hell. And even now, saith the Lord, you worried, well, what will people think? But God says the spirit of boldness is upon thee, that I'm going to wake you up at night, and the word of the Lord is going to begin to come up out of your belly, that even in your home there's come an alignment, says God, for I am a, I am standing with thee. I chose you, I called you, and I am not done with you, says God, but the spirit of the Lord Lord, the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord be upon thee today, and you are anointed by the Spirit of God. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What is it? For what? All right, in the name of the Lord, hallelujah, I loose, I command the spirit of infirmity to come out of your body in the name of Jesus, uh, that in this house, you spirit of sickness, you cannot stay. Uh, so we cast you out in the name of Jesus, uh, and I loose the glory, the glory, the glory, the fire of God, the fire of God, the fire of God, uh, hallelujah, in Jesus' name, we call it done uh, by the spirit of the Lord. Sunday. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Now listen to me. There is the Lord says there's a river. You can't see it, but God said there is a river in the sanctuary today, and your feet are in it. Rick, come here. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I am not done with thee, says God. There has been a, an assignment come against you. Every demon in hell has wrapped itself around your mind. You thought, God, am I going crazy? What is it? I don't understand. God said, I did not bring you here for them. I brought you here for you because your greatest day, saith the Lord, that you've been a builder in the natural, but there is something you're going to build in the spirit, saith the Lord. And this day I, I untie things that have been around you and I begin to loose on you, saith the Lord, the anointing of God. For you've been a carrier, but it's been dormant. But out of your belly, says the Lord, it's going to begin to flow rivers of, of living water. You've not asked me for that or the natural because you have it, but you've asked me for it in the spirit. You've said, God, can I have it? This day, saith the Lord, I'm giving it to you. I am baptizing you. I am baptizing you, saith God, with the glory of the Lord. And never again will you go into the dark place that you've been. But the anointing of God uh, this day uh, puts a mantle on you uh, and you are free by the Spirit of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kaya Bobo Sunday. Hallelujah. Uh, 
Hallelujah. I lose the fire of God in this building. Sunday. The Lord says that the dormant gifts that are in many of you, God said, I'm breathing on them and they're going to begin to flow and to function by the power of the Lord. Tia Bobo Sunday. Hallelujah. 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 We activate the God portal that's in this building. We activate the God portal that's in this building. God said, you're not like other churches. The Lord said, I've raised you up for this hour, for this purpose, that you are a channel that the majesty of God is going to flow through and it's never going to stop, says the Lord, for it is a deep river. God says, not only is there the natural miraculous, there is the supernatural miraculous. God said that even in the natural, hallelujah, they'll come by the thousands and be healed. But even more than that, says the Lord, this day I deposit in this building an authority over demon spirits that every demon will bow down to the name of Jesus and the powers of God will begin to flow by the spirit of the Lord hallelujah hallelujah now I begin to let the Holy Spirit begins to breathe on this place you got some for, for Christmas right give him the word Thank you, Lord. Brennan Christmas. Where is Brennan Christmas? I want him to just minister to you just for a moment. First of all, I want you to know I enjoy watching you worship. I just, I love watching you worship. But the Lord spoke to me last night uh, in the night. And the Lord spoke to me and he said, tell him that I take joy in his worship and the Lord says that the people around you will never know the price of the oil in your alabaster box the Lord says the people around you would never know the battles that you fought and won I've got a lot of stuff to tell you brother what God said the Lord says I'm gonna put you on platforms around the world. God said, I'm gonna put you before my people. God says, I have handpicked you. And the Lord says, I am gonna take from those who have not and give it to those who have. And what that means, the Lord says, I have given gifts and callings of God to people who would not pursue me. And the Lord says, I'm going to take from them. God said, you're going to notice an acceleration in your talent, in your songwriting, in your musical abilities. And God said, you're going to know that I'm taking from those who have not, who have gifts, but not the anointing. And I'm going to give it to those who have. And the Lord says, I picked you. I handpicked you. And the Lord says, I'm going to bring acceleration. The Lord says, I know this, son. As my servant David kept a humble heart before me, as long as you will walk humbly before me, the Lord says, I will elevate you. The Lord says, if you ever start thinking it's me and it's not him, the Lord says, I will lift my hand of blessing off of you. But the Lord says, get ready, strap in. God says, I have plans for your life that you know not of. And God says, it's like the curtain is lifting on the stage and 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 you're there the Lord says I am gonna uncover you now before men because the hand of the Lord is on you and I take joy in you says the Lord hallelujah why don't you just stretch your hand towards Brennan father in the name of Jesus Lord we bless the gifts and the callings of God in this man son the Lord says that people have not understood you. The Lord says 
People are afraid of the things that they don't understand. And the Lord says, at times, you have felt like an outcast. But the Lord said, I want you to know that I used that to incubate this thing in you, says the Lord. To incubate my gifts and my anointing in you, says the Lord. And the Lord said, without that, this, there could not be this. Without that, this would have not have happened. And the Lord says, this is the path, the path less traveled that you have chosen. But look, the Lord said, it is the good path. It is the good portion that you have chosen. God, we bless this man of God. We ask you to elevate him. We ask you to accelerate him in the name of Jesus. We bless Brennan Christmas in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. You can, you can be seated. Amen. Rusty, did, I know you were going in for another report, and uh, I don't want to give details, but have you got it back yet? No? All right. I'm going to tell you something about this church. We are not going to be a church of funerals. Hallelujah. I speak life over every one of you that submit to this house. Hallelujah. I, I, I speak life over you. I bind every sickness, every accident, every financial disaster, every divorce. Hallelujah. Every death experience, we curse it in the name of the Lord. And we call this a house of life. And Rusty, I will not bury you. Hallelujah. You shall live and not die, says the Lord. So in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, I begin to speak the fire of God. Begin to go through your belly, your arteries, your kidneys, every part of your, your physical being. In the name of the Lord, that you don't just have life, but you have abundant life. That you are full of the power of God. You're full of the word of the Lord. You're full of health. And this cloud that is hung over you and your wife, and it's just hung there, and it's tormented, and it's mocked, and it said, what if I dissipate that thing in the name of Jesus? You foul lying devil, I cast you out of their home, out of his body, in the name of the Lord, and we decree in Jesus' name that you you shall live. You shall live. Now I loose the fire of God in your belly that every assignment, every spirit of infirmity, you come out of his body in the name of the Lord and we loose you, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody give a shout to the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we loose, hallelujah, the prophetic purpose of the Lord in this building in Jesus name I declare hallelujah over you today the fire of the Lord the fire of the Lord the fire of God begin to flow through this building in the name of Jesus hallelujah we loose the spirit of God we loose the purpose of God we loose the anointing of God in this sanctuary Thank you, Jesus. Diamond. Where is Diamond? That's all right. Go get her, and I'm going to minister to somebody else until she gets back. Kirk and Holly. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God, I thank you for Kurt and Holly, for your ministry. The Lord says, son and daughter, the Lord said, I have given you tools. The Lord says, I have given you the equipment. I have equipped you for ministry. And it just seemed like you, you, you do this and it doesn't really seem to work. You do that and it doesn't really seem to work. You just can't really, really bring it into focus and the Lord says son and daughter it's there's nothing wrong with the tools 
in the equipment. There's nothing wrong with, with what you're doing. The Lord says, you've been using the wrong tools for the wrong season. And the Lord said, not that you were wrong. The Lord said, your season hadn't come. But the Lord says, now your season has come. And the Lord says, the swords are being, being beaten into plowshares. And the Lord says, 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 son and daughter, I want you to know that the season of the Lord, the season of great harvest, the Lord says the plowman is going to overtake the reaper. And the Lord said, now where things have been hard, it's going to be easy. The Lord says, you, you, you've worked hard. You prayed, you fasted, you sought God. Lord, what is it? What is it? And the Lord said, it's just been the season. The Lord said, I've been doing some things in you as a couple. The Lord says, I've been doing things in your family. The Lord says, I've been doing things in you. And God says, now the season has changed and you have the right equipment. And the Lord said, I'm going to give you the latter rain and the former Amen. rain yes, yes, together. Yes, yes. God said, I'm going to use you. And the Lord said, now you're just going to do a little bit. And boy, it's just going to blow up and flourish. And you're Hallelujah. just going to do a little bit over here and it's just going to blow up and flourish. And God says, you're going to break out on the right hand and the left because the hand of God is on you. And you said, we've, we've known that. We just have haven't known how and why, but God said, I want you to know it, it, it's almost like, it's almost like you, you, you just didn't, didn't know how, but the Lord says, now you'll know because the hand of God, the hand of blessing is upon you. And the Lord said, fulfillment is coming to your lives and your ministry in Jesus name. God, we bless Kurt and Holly. God, we ask you to open the windows of heaven, give them the latter rain and the former rain together. God, we speak blessing over their finances, over their home, their children, their ministry. And God, we just decree great fruit, fruitfulness, fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. We pray. Pray. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. There's Did Diamond, Diamond get here? There's Diamond right there. Minister to her, and then I'll go ahead. So, Diamond, I want your family with you, your parents, to judge the word. I want them standing with you. You've been up there working in the nursery, huh? My darling, I love you so much. The Lord says to tell you that, so I'm going to say this in the natural. I'm not really sure who named you Diamond. But it was a Holy Ghost name. It was a spirit name. The Lord says, because you are precious and you are valuable in the eyes of the Lord. And the Lord says, daughter, I want you to know that I handpicked you. The Lord says, there were lots of children in Africa. God said, there were lots of children, but I picked you. The Lord said, the eyes of the Lord saw you. And the Lord said, I picked one for the Oberst family to train because there's only one Oberst family. And they have trained you and they have equipped you and they will continue. But the Lord says, there will come a time. God says, I want you to know that your generation, your age group and your generation in Africa is also valuable to me. And God says, I need an Esther. I need an, my God. God said, I need an Esther to stand in the gap for her generation. And the Lord says, there'll come a day that you'll stand back on your native soil. And God said, I'm going to use you to win souls. And daughter... The devil has tried to tell you that you are not valuable, that you are not beautiful, that you are not anointed, that you are not powerful. And daughter, I want to just I want to just share some insight with you. Whatever the devil tells you, you believe exactly the opposite because you're anointed, you're chosen, you're beautiful, you're valuable. The hand of God is upon you, and the Lord says, "Ah, oh, I've 
chosen you to be an Esther to your generation, says the Lord. And the word of the Lord shall be in your mouth, and I'm going to use you mightily, says the Lord. Mother and dad, you, 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 you judge the word. You judge the word. All right, amen. God bless you. Lord, we speak over Diamond. God, we just speak the blessing of the Lord upon her. And God, we just say, Lord, do it. Do it. Use her in great and mighty ways for her generation, oh God. Lord, we thank you that you picked her because we love her. We thank you that you plucked her out. God, I hear the Holy Ghost saying, just as when you were a baby, the course of your life changed dramatically by the hand of God. And the Lord says that it will be a pattern in your life because the Lord says that there will come seasons and times in your life that, that the course will change dramatically under the guidance and the tutelage of your parents by the guidance of the Holy Ghost. But the Lord says, you'll see your life turn and change and you'll stand amazed at the hand of God when he opens doors and directions for you. And you'll say, I never knew that this was gonna happen. I could not have planned this. And the Lord said, you'll look back on this day. You'll look back on this day and this word will precede that and you'll know that it is the hand of God leading your life. God, we bless Diamond in the name of Jesus. God, we bless this young woman of God. Now, Lord, furnish and equip her unto every good work. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 This is, uh, this is what I... I believe that I'm, I'm hearing the Lord speak to me, and you, you might have a hard time right now assimilating it, but what we are entering into as a church is literally going to affect the world. And most of you that are in this building are going to be... <clears throat> I, I hate to use the word volunteers, but God has put you on the ground level because he's going to use you to help facilitate what's getting ready to happen in the spirit <clears throat> and all of the people that are coming. And even <clears throat> to the parking lot, God says that I'm going to raise up men that are going to be in the parking lot and you're going to be used by God to minister to people before they ever get inside of the building. That I'm going to put such an anointing. <clears throat> and uh, Pastor Harry and Sandra, I'm hearing the Lord say that um, because you chose not to defend yourself, and I know some of what's happened in the natural, but because you chose not to defend yourself, God says you are forcing me to defend you. And the Lord says that I'm getting ready to, I know you're looking for a home and you've sold your, you're selling your home in Winfield, but the price of homes in Winfield, Alabama is far different than the price of homes in this area. And you've thought with what the enemy has stole from you that you would just have to settle for something. And God said, I'm going to surprise you. And the Lord said that even what fell through recently, that wasn't in my plan. And God said, when I plant you permanently in this city, I'm going to plant you in something that's going to exceed your expectations <clears throat> because you are choice servants in the kingdom of the Lord. <clears throat> And God says that I am going to bless you and I'm going to give back double what the enemy stole from you, says the Lord. 
and that in your older age you will never have to worry about finance, says God, because of the blessing and the faithfulness of the Lord upon you. <clears throat> now, Friday night uh, or Thursday night, I begin to share something with, with the audience of something the Lord began to speak to me that <clears throat> the next sovereign move of the Lord that's going to hit the earth is going to be a move of revival to laborers. For those who have been serving the Lord for a long time, and God said, I'm going to restore joy, I'm going to restore health, and I'm going to restore money back to the kingdom of the Lord. <clears throat> And over this building today, over this congregation, I declare today that the joy of the Lord come back to you. Hallelujah. Carrie, come here, baby. This is my daughter-in-law. <clears throat> and you have walked a difficult road for the last couple of years in the loss of your husband. And at times, you thought, Lord, why didn't you take me too? And there's a darkness that has just been a mantle on you. And your joy has, and you think, I'm trying to raise two boys by myself. And I don't fit in. I seem like I've lost my place because my husband is gone. But this day, says the Lord... <clears throat> I'm going to lift this thing off of you because there is in you, says God, some talents, some gifts that have never yet come out. And, and you've isolated yourself, says the Lord, and you, you thought, Lord, I just, I, I just do better when I'm alone. But daughter, hallelujah, I did not leave you here to leave you on a shelf. I did not leave you here, says the Lord, to leave you with despair and wondering. I, I just wish that I could go home and be there, but I have to stay here for my children. But oh, hallelujah, this day, says the Lord, I, I am touching you and I am changing your circumstances uh, that out of your belly, oh little one, says the Lord, uh, I'm going to begin to release an anointing upon you. Uh, oh, that all the spirit of the Lord my mandate that is upon you you are still my daughter you are still my child and I today lift this sorrow off of you I lift this darkness off of you I turn the light on in your eyes that when people look at you they go what happened and you say I don't know but something changed that God invented your house. Now I make a covenant with thee uh, that upon thy sons uh, and upon my prophet's grandsons uh, this day I say no uh, to the demon spirits of hell uh, that I went after your boys uh, and in them my own name because I can swear by no other I decree uh, that there is a wall of protection around your sons uh, and they shall be used of the Lord. Uh, so daughter I'm going to put a day back in your feet I'm going to put a laughter back in your spirit and this day hallelujah the blessing of the Lord shall not depart from thee <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah if you need your joy back you need to get to your feet right now and you need to lift your hand and you need to tell God God give me back my joy give me back my shout give me back what I need that I don't just walk through life with heaviness got somebody else Rob and Tanya Roberts thank you Jesus thank you Lord hallelujah thank you Lord the Lord says your faith has touched my heart the Lord said you're like the men that lifted the man down in the roof that we don't care how we get there we're just gonna get there 
whatever it takes, whatever sacrifice it takes, we're going to be in the presence of the Lord. And the Lord said, your faith has touched the heart of God. And the Lord says, people will never know what you have sacrificed for the presence of the Lord. But the Lord says, today I honor you. And the Lord said, I honor the kind of faith. He said, that kind of faith stops me in my tracks and makes me take notice of you. And the Lord said, the word of the Lord, you got here and it looked different. It looked different. And the Lord said, because the word of the Lord was tried in your hearts. But the Lord said, you stood the test of time. And God said, now windfalls are coming. Blessings are coming. The windows of heaven are open. You said, Lord, we don't, we don't care what it costs. We don't care. We, don't, we just got to get there. And the Lord said, I'm going to pay the bill. The Lord said, I'm going to pay the bill. I'm going to, God, God said, I got a work for you to do. And the Lord said, I can't get you, I can't have you worried about stuff. I can't have you worried about finances. And the Lord says that there's going to come a time you're going to be so blessed and people are going to look at you and say, how in the world did you get that? How in the world are y'all walking in that kind of blessing and prosperity? And God said, know this, look back on this day. Because I swear to you that I will pay the bill. I will bless your faith, says the Lord. Your faith has moved the heart of God. And the Lord said that I am going to open the heavens over your life. And the Lord said you've been worried about family issues. God said, I got that. God said, I've got that. You have been so weighted down carrying everybody else that you about made yourself sick. And the Lord said, daughter, cast it on me because I got them. The Lord said, I heard your prayers. I've heard you and I'm answering your prayers. And where's Ethan? Where's Ethan? Is Ethan here? Can I, can I pray over Ethan? Y'all don't go nowhere. Y'all just stand right here. Come here, my darling. The Lord says to tell you, son, I didn't bring you here for economics. I didn't leave, bring you here for geography just to change where you live. The Lord said, I brought you here for destiny purpose. And the Lord said, the devil's tried to kill you numerous times. And I said, it shall not be so because there's destiny purpose on your life. And the Lord says, son, if you will just dive deep into me, if you will commit and sell out, says the Lord. God says, the broken places, I'm going to go back and heal. The things that you feel are lost and destroyed and disintegrated and burned to the ground. God said, I'm going to heal it. I'm going to revive it. The Lord said, if you will seek me, the Lord said, I want to show you the secret things of my presence. God said, the hand of the Lord is on you and has been since you were a child. And the Lord said, I want to show you great and mighty things in the spirit. If you will commit to me totally, I have great blessing for your life that you know not of. Search your hand towards this family. God, we bless this family. God, we hear your word for destiny purpose on Ethan and his family. And Lord, we know that you brought them here and that it was no accident, but it was divine purpose. So Lord, we pray the blessing of the Lord. We ask you to open the heavens over their finances, over their family, their children, God, over everything. God said, I'm gonna go back and redeem some things for you, son. I'm gonna go back and redeem some things. I'm gonna make the low places high. God said, but watch this. I'm going to bring down some places too. God says, sell out to me, son, for destiny purpose. Why don't you give this family a good hand? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Nicholas. Nicholas. The Lord says that you've been in a season of filling. Filling of gifts. Filling of the anointing, filling of, of equipment, equipping, filling, 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 filling. But the Lord says now the season in your life has changed. The Lord says, because now I'm going to give you the season of fulfilling. 
I filled you up and the Lord said, now I'm going to fulfill you. And the Lord says, instead of being poured in, God said, now I'm going to pour you out. The Lord says, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. And the Lord says, son, this fulfillment, this fulfillment, I'm speaking of things of your heart's desires. God says, the things that you have been crying out for, the Lord says, I heard you, but it was the wrong season. It was the wrong season. It was the season of filling. But now, says son, the day has dawned on you of fulfilling, of fulfillment. And God said, I'm going to do the things, not the thing, the things uh, that you have asked me to do. I'm going to do it for you, says the Lord. Amen. All right. I'm, uh, I'm feeling prompted in the spirit to do this. The, the Bible says that uh, Moses, that God took the spirit that was on Moses and he transferred it to 70 men. And today I, I feel strong in the Holy Ghost. I'm going to release what's on me. And I'm putting it on you. Hallelujah. I breathe on you. What's in me and what's on me. Hallelujah. I breathe it on this body. Oh, yeah, yeah, Baba Sunday. Hallelujah. I release, hallelujah, the anointing that God put on me. I release it on you because I need you, hallelujah. That the Spirit of the Lord, the mantle that's on this house, begin to fall on you in the name of the Lord. That you feel what I feel, that you hear what I hear. That you operate in a level of power and anointing and authority in the Holy Ghost. So from this day on, I declare that you are forever changed by the word of the Lord. And as God raises up this God portal, hallelujah that you are going to be used magnificently by the Spirit of the Lord. And when you walk out of here today, you will say, I don't know what it is, but I feel something on me. And God said, that's the mandate of God that's on this house. Crystal, I see you. Is is Todd here? Todd, Todd and Crystal, come here. I a, I'm hearing the Lord speak over you. <clears throat> I've known this young lady since she was probably born. Makes me feel older. God moved you from, from Washington here. And at times you've even thought, I hope we made the right decision. And things have not really gone like you thought they were going to. And the Lord says that there's been a struggle. It seemed like everything that you've tried to do is a struggle. But God said that even with your house, the Lord said, I'm breathing on it. God said today, I'm loosing my blessing on you. And the heavens that have been brass, God said, I'm going to turn them into an open heaven. And son, when I look at you, says the Lord, I see steel bars strength hallelujah that you've been misunderstood and people they look at you and they make assessments and it's not true but God said that you are essential in what I'm doing in this house and daughter and son either the days come and says the Lord that that You've worked for other people and you watch them get blessed and you watch them make profit and and you get just enough to make your bills. But God said, I'm getting ready to give you your own business. 
Hallelujah. I'm getting ready to bless you, says the Lord, that because you took a gamble and you said yes when I asked you to leave and you made a trip to a strange land, God said, I'm making it home now. And all oh, this day, hallelujah, I release the favor of God upon you. And this weariness and this heaviness that has just been on you. And you thought, God, it's just so hard. I just didn't expect it to be like this. But because you did not accuse me and you did not throw in the towel, God said, you are an integral part of what I am beginning to do in this place. And this day, saith the Lord, I I say you are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. And I bless you, says the Lord, because I have found you faithful in my house, saith God. Hallelujah. Pass it. Test. Pastor Toby, Sarah, please. So I need to release this word. I've had it for days, and I, I didn't want to, to give it to Pastor Toby without, without his bride. And, um, and so I, I need to speak this over you, if I have the permission to do that. The Lord says that people look at you guys and say, Oh, what a promising future. This is such a couple of promise. I've heard this over and over and over in my spirit. They just have such promise. And the Lord says to tell you, you do have promise. The Lord says, you have my promise. The Lord says, you have my promise that you are called of God. The Lord says, you have my promise that I will supply all of your needs according to my riches and glory. You have my promise that when things get tough, that the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run in and are saved. The Lord says, you have my promise that no weapon that is formed against you shall, pro shall prosper. The Lord said, you have my promise. And the Lord said, you're going to look back on this day because you're going to look at these promises. The Lord says, son and daughter, I haven't just called you to children's ministry. God says, this is a season. But know this, son and daughter, that I'm going to send you around the world. The Lord says that you're going to stand. I spoke this to you privately in a private setting, but I'm going to speak this publicly into the atmosphere and before this congregation. The Lord says that I'm going to send you to the nations. I'm going to send you around the world. And the Lord says, son, you were born in the faith you were raised in the faith and the Lord says to tell you that you have a ministry of great faith and the Lord says I want you to know ahead of time that it's going to take great faith to do the thing that I've called you to do and the Lord said I want you to know this sounds funny I can't help it the Lord says I didn't put you together because you're cute the Lord says, I put you together for your giftings. You have unique giftings that fit together perfectly. And I needed you to be joined together, not just in the natural, but just in the spirit. Because it's going to take a great woman of faith to walk with this man of faith. And it's going to take a great man of faith to walk with this woman of faith. And the Lord says, together your faith. The Lord says, one can send a thousand to flight, but two can send ten thousand to flight. And the Lord says, I have put two together to be one because of the faith that I'm going to use the Lord says you're gonna see many so my God I see you standing on a platform and a sea of dark faces in front of you worshiping God and the fire of God fall the hand of God is upon you I'm gonna use you mightily says the Lord God said don't look at this as the end this is the very beginning the very springboard of what I've called you to do the hand of God the blessing of the Lord is upon you says the Lord and what I'm going to do through you you 
you, you've not learned it in Bible school. That's right. Even though you've had a degree from Bible school, God says that what I'm getting ready to do, you haven't learned it there. And God said, you were not hired, you were placed. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and the Lord says that I, uh, even though you're young, God said in the spirit, you have an old spirit. Yeah. And I have allowed you to be raised in Pentecost because what I'm beginning to do in this house, says the Lord, is the days will come that even with, with older youth, you're going man- to begin to minister to them by the Spirit of God. But God said that as the Spirit of the Lord begins to fall in the classrooms, that you'll be able to recognize that this is the Spirit of God. Prepare yourself for children receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And the Lord also says that you're going to raise up these little children. And these little children are going to begin to prophesy. They're going to lay hands on people. And you will orchestrate it. And you will watch over them. You will monitor it. But above all, says the Lord, this is not going to come out of your intellect. This is going to come out of your spirit. So the Lord says, raise up an altar of prayer in your life. For this is not by might, not by wisdom not by power but it's by my spirit saith the Lord I placed you I can remove you but I believe saith the Lord that your feet are planted but if you will hunger for the righteousness of God and hear my voice I will never leave you but I will equip you saith God and the hand of the Lord shall perform what you are birthed to perform saith the Lord Stretch your hands towards Pastor Toby and Sarah. Father, we bless this couple. Lord, we love this couple. And Lord, you have made them a part of this body. And Lord, we just ask you in the name of Jesus, God, that the windows of heaven are open to them, that you will speak to them, oh God, and use them in mighty ways around the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. And and this might take a moment. I know we're already a quarter to five. In a hurry. And this, what I just spoke to you about the mantle, I'm hearing the Lord say this. If you are a man in this house and you are willing to accept what God has just released, that if you will come and form a line, I feel like the Lord said, I have to put my hand on you. Yeah, I believe that. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to hear me by the Spirit. God is going to use the men in this house. The Lord said that this is not going to be a church where you come on Sunday and you just sit. Then you get in your car and you go home. Hallelujah. 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 I think the best way is maybe just this end. We just start. I'll stand in the middle. You can come by me, but I feel really strong. Paul said this to Timothy. He said, the gift that's in you, you got when I laid hands on you. And I'm going to lay hands on you. Hallelujah. And I'm going to release the mandate of God on your life as men. Listen, the strength of this church stands right here. Hallelujah, the strength of this church stands right here. And so many of you men are, have had the mandate of the Lord on your life. And you wonder, God, are you ever going to use me? Well, today we're going to activate that by the power of the Lord. Hallelujah. And when you leave today, you're going to be changed by the Spirit of the Lord. All right, my, maybe my ushers can help me, but if you can just begin to file single file, I'm not going to prophesy over you, but if i got to put my hands on the men of this house. Hallelujah. Come on, just keep moving in the name of the Lord. Oh, I Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God, as I lay hands, God, as I lay hands on these men, I release. God, I activate in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord, 
that's in this sanctuary. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 God, I thank you. God, for these men of God that you're raising up to help make this God portal touch the world. That, Lord, from this day on, from this day on, hallelujah, from this day on, in the name of Jesus, that you have a deposit put in you, a deposit put in you, in the name of the Lord, that, oh, you're going to hold up the hands, the vision of this sanctuary, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, out of your belly, oh, Lord, my brother. At least, God, what's on me, God, what's in me, I put in these men in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, I thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, receive it in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. God, you're raising up an army, an army of men of God. Men of God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God. Lord, let this be the impartation of the Spirit of the Lord. God, I'm releasing it to him. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God, Lord, that you're raising this up. God, for this hour, Lord, we've got to have these men in the name of Jesus. Oh, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. God, I thank you. In the name of the Lord, God, we can release the gifts. The talents, the anointing of the Lord. The Sunday. Hallelujah. God from this day on, forever changed, forever altered by the word of the Lord, by the power of God. The men, hallelujah. The men. The Sunday. The army of God marches across this platform. The army of God. The Sunday. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, I thank you, God. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. That where your spirit is, Lord, there is liberty. There is anointing by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I thank you, God. Lord, I thank you. Oh, I thank you, Jesus. Lord, from this day, God, the deposit from heaven, the deposit from heaven, the deposit from heaven, the I come there. I saw the Lord. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God, we release your mantle in Jesus' name. I saw the Lord. And he heard. And he answered. I saw the Lord. And he heard. Oh, thank you, Lord. John, let me minister to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Even from a young man, says the Lord, 